So how would you, you guys are being in relationships. Obviously, you guys, everyone's came across your arguments. You just explained one right now. Is it okay during your argument to withhold sex from your man? <laughs> okay, I got you. You go first. Um, <laughs> I'll go second. So, I mean, here's the thing. So sex is something, and intimacy in itself is something that really binds a relationship together for sure. Like, obviously, when you first meet your partner, there's going to be that sexual attraction. And at the end of the day, like, we're all human. Like, it's one of those things where, like, we're still going to want intimacy, mm -hmm. even if times aren't going well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know for a fact, I have had arguments where, like, maybe that night he'll sleep on the sofa and then, like, in the morning... It's like, I'll turn over a new leaf. I'll be like, whatever you did yesterday, let's forget about it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then tonight, we'll see what happens. Okay. But it's one of those things where, like, I don't think it's 100% right. I, I know I've been in arguments before where, like, you know, sometimes I just want to be hugged. I yeah. want somebody to hold me and tell me everything's going to be okay. What about the arguments where you think it's worse than what he did, so... You guys both arguing. You guys separate the other room, and he's just like, "Man, ain't that bad." I'm gonna come give her a hug, cuddle her, and see if I can see if I can get something going. But you're still mad. Okay, now my friend, I am a woman, so you know, <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, very similar to a cat. It's like, yeah, I want to be touched. To <laughs> well, because think about go it ahead, this way: you have a cat, you know, right? It loves pets, whatever. But sometimes you want to pet it, and it doesn't want to be pet. It'll slap you across the face. Mm. Fine, okay. whatever. You know, go ahead. But in this situation, if my boyfriend were to, like, approach me when I'm in an opposite room, I've had enough space. Honestly, it just depends on how bad the argument was, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. So, like, I've had arguments with him before about, like, you know, the way his mother has treated me. Mm -hmm. So if you come into that back room expecting to get some mm -hmm. after your mom just rolled her eyes at me 25 times, mm -hmm. like, I am sorry. But that shit's not happening. Not <laughs> so. Okay. And for you? So I have a little story uh, to go with that. Okay. Um, this was a past relationship. Um, I, don't, I can't even remember how long we were together for because I stopped keeping count because I stopped caring about the relationship. <laughs> but um, we would when we would argue, it would get really bad. Like he would punch walls, break my things, et cetera. And... Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, it was really bad. I, I was, we were arguing, and I was like, you know what, fuck this. I'm never sucking your dick again. I'm never having sex with you again. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if like sex was like just that meaningful for him, mm -hmm. or what. But he was just like, this look on his face was just like, like really? I, like broke I, his world? something. <laughs> I, like, Wait, I don't I'm know. sorry. What are you? I, let's calm down. Let's talk yeah, about this. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, no, like uh, I'm not having sex with you. I'm not. No. And like that was the problem. <clears throat> Intimacy isn't just sex. It's more than mm -hmm. that. It's cuddling. It's holding your hand. It's. But there has been has there been a lot of times that you you said all that and you still sucked his dick. No. Stop the cap. No, for real. <laughs> like I'm no. We need to make it right first, and and I'll go crazy later. Like you right. can apologize, and make it right first, and then we'll go crazy later. Mm. Moral of the story: just make it right first. So you so do you feel like it was right for you to withhold? Yeah, because yeah. he was being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Huh. You want to throw one in here? Or? Oh, I'm just laughing. <laughs> I'm I'm still shocked that this is, a, this is like you guys are totally different from what we're used yeah, to. Yeah, no. What's up? What's I saw your videos. Huh? I get it. Yeah, his, <laughs> I saw your videos. She said I saw. Yeah, it's <laughs> totally different. Yeah. All right, we'll go back to the dating thing real quick. Um. You know, women make a lot of excuses about if they really want to, they'll make time. It's like a cliche thing. Everybody says they really want to, they'll make time. What type of quality of man would you cancel your plans for to make time? Grade A. What is grade A? Describe him. Someone that is genuine, that... But how um, do you know? This is the, the... He just got your number. A couple oh, text messages. Okay. Like... And if he's if he's grade A quality, he wants to meet Friday, you work. Like, are you canceling? How are you canceling plans for this grade A guy? Like, how, how good does he have to be for you to miss work? He has to be consistent when 
from whenever we got in the number initially mm-hmm. talked or whatever. Be consistent. Show that you care genuinely. None of this fake bullshit that people be doing. None, none, no fakeness. Just be real. And I'll cancel whatever. Okay. What about for you? So I like money. I like work. Uh-huh. I like working because I like money. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, when I first met my man, and the thing is, we have both been through a lot of toxic relationships. So when I first met my man, like, I knew he was completely different. So, like, in that beginning of the week, in the beginning of the honeymoon phase, or, like, puppy dog love, whatever, I was canceling shifts to go hang out with him. I was okay. making sure that, you know, my shifts were covered. I had somebody else coming in. And he and I would go take day trips to, so like, Laguna Beach. That's high value, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So if I see a girl investing like that, that's yeah. like that. She like really take it take like it a lot more serious. Okay. He took it serious too. I mean, that's what made it. The fact that he was able to meet me there and then, you know, there were no lies. You know, there was nothing like that. No fakeness. Uh-huh. Like he told me everything that I was getting involved with and I told him all my demons. Mm. So So he knows a lot about your past? Oh, way too much. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you voluntarily told or or did did he Asks a little bit. I voluntarily told. I told him at the beginning of our relationship because I told him I've never had a time to heal from Mm -hmm. everything that's been done to me in the past. So if you're going to get into a relationship with me, it's only fair if I tell you. Okay. Like, you know, I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to help myself. So he knows about the story that you you were going to tell us about about your one night stand? (sighs) What? She looks like she doesn't want to tell. What? what? One night sand. What Have you ever had a one night stand? I mean, of course. Like, okay. we're all females here, and we all yeah. fuck up at times, you know? I've never had a one night stand. Don't speak for all of us. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> My husband thought I was lying, because we were playing a game, and they're like, oh, if you had a one night stand, take a shot. And I was the only one that didn't take a shot. He's like, you're lying. I'm like, no, I really have never had <laughs> a one wanted, night stand. He wanted to feel better about <laughs> himself. That's what it was. Like, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I have. Like, it's been one of those things where, like, in the past, uh, you know, when I initially went from fat to skinny, mm-hmm. I was on a power trip. Like, I kid you not. I'm pretty sure it feels, yeah, di- yeah, it feels yeah. different. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, you have people who actually notice you for once, and this is when I'm talking about when I was, like, 17, 18. Oh, So yeah, it's so way back then. Yeah, yeah, we were all hot in the pants at that age. Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, like, it was one of those things where, I kid you not, like, I was hooking up with, like, people that normally wouldn't even bat an eye. Yeah. Uh And I was partially doing it so I could do it and then walk away and be like, I did it. You know? Not that good. Mm. But I did it. (laughs) (laughs) 